Good morning. Today's Rambam. Hilchas Mamrim, Perik Zayin, Halacha Aleph. We're going to discuss some halachas there. Regarding a concept that according to some opinions in the Gemara doesn't exist, never existed, and yet others say it did exist, and that is a Ben Sayer Meir. What is a Ben Sayer Meir? So you would expect the Ramam to begin. The Allah is telling us that. <laughs> and he decides to do it in a different way. Ben Sayer Meir, Amam Batera. And Messiah Mary that said the Torah, you know what about Bible? I mean, it's partial by Skila. He gets Skila. Right away to the punishment without any knowing knowledge of who he is. Like on a shakos of Ellen can hear it. There has to be a love for a punishment. The hey god, he's here. Where did he warn you about it? There's a love in Pastor's condition that says Lisaiklu Al Hadam. That lav is used time and again for different things, which is going to be a problem because it's used and used and reused. <laughs> so here, the Rambam teaches it: Loi soichal achila, don't eat such an achila. Amevi oli de shvichas dom, that brings to murder. Vizu achilas mesayir mer. That's what a mesayir mer does. His eating is an um, eating that brings to murder. Now, the Ramah Mir introduces a new word that nowhere did I find. He eats a disgusting eating that he ate. That's why he gets killed. One of the descriptions the Torah talks about one who eats meat in very, very hungrily or very, very hungry. And the Seva Shesi Yai Brahsanus and drinks wine in such a man. Now, he goes through a very many a number of alochas, and then finally in Allah Zayin, he goes through the exact process of doing a, getting a Ben Sayer, how a Ben Sayer gets killed. That is a whole process. How does the Ramam says Kate said don't say about bring his parents, bring him to Bez. A regular Bez, three people. And they say, this guy is a Sarah. And they bring two witnesses that say that he stole from his father. He bought meat and wine. And he ate it as he had described earlier. A certain amount of meat, a certain amount of wine. And they warned him. And the Ramam described this is the first Edus. And he gets Malkus, as every other Malkus. And he brings the Pasuk for it. The Yisru Oyser Elishmale. That's the Malkus. Then he goes on. If it happened again, and he did the same meeting, his parents bring him to Bezen. This time it's a bezin of 23. They bring two Adam. And they testify that he stole and he ate the way it was described before. This is the last Adam. Even if it's the same pair, it doesn't matter, but it's the second set of Adam's, second testimony. And you do the checking, his age, because he's only got a three month span of where he can be a ceremony. Then they pass him who he is, they kill him. And then the Ramah adds that the same aid is have to be there. Okay. Now we mentioned that Leisaychlu al Adon is a lab used over and over for many different lab, many different areas. Now, where does the Ramah get this from? That's a Gemara and Sanhedrin, that's a Gimel. And the Gemara says, you can't get Malchus on all these things because they're lav shiba clothes. Lav shiba clothes means a lav that includes many different things is not a lav for Malchus. Yeah. Now, we said the Ramam used the Lushan, don't, don't eat 
something that brings to Shvichas Domen. Who's Shvichas Domen? Are you talking about? So Rashi learns Leseich Lachila She Tahargeu Aleha. Rashi translates the word Leseich Adam. Don't eat something that you will get killed for. Interesting translation. Now, so we have a problem with a lot of sugar clothes. Now the Rambam takes care of that problem in 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 in, in the Seif Hamitzvahs. The Tesis asks another question: How can you get Malkus? There's a little rule that a lav that can be a lav of Misa cannot be used for Malkus. Lav shenit lasaris Misa doesn't. And this is a lot for our Ben Sari Murray for Beat Misa, so I could use it for uh how could you use it for Malchus? Okay, so there are answers. Raman himself says that um that When it says clearly in the Torah that you get Malchus, then you could use a lav and then, then you can use a lav In other words, you can't give Malchus because of the lav. But if it says the Yisra, I say that's what the Rambam writes there. The Yisra, I say because that's the source. Now others say there is really no lav. <laughs> it's not a regular lav. You're getting Malchus because we want to warn him. It doesn't fit many of the rules of Malchus, so it, it, it's not. It's just a Pasuk thrown out there, but it's not really the Pasuk from Alex. Okay. All right, now let's talk about this Messiah. Unique, unique, unique concept. A child, today's world, we would consider him a real child, even though he's 13, but nevertheless, 13 years old, 13, up to 13 in three months, basically. I mean, it's a three month span. That of Ben can't exist. How can we kill him? So the Mishnah in Sanhedrin says, "And Sayer and Meir need an Al Shem Soifoi, cause of what's going to come out of him. Because in the end, he's going to be a murderer. And therefore, the we said Yom Uzaka Al Yom Uzai. Let him die when he's still merit meritorious before he becomes a." A criminal. And of Ayin Beis, the Gemara brings a little more elaborate explanation. The Gemara asks him, Beis, he really asks, because the guy ate meat and drank wine. You kill him. <laughs> he said, no. So he explains clearly. And Tyra looked further into this psyche and said, and this say uh, say he's not gonna have any more left from his father's money. And he still uses he's, he's addicted to his stuff. He wants his stuff. Or at least he's desirous of his stuff. I don't want to use the word addiction because then it can create other shyness. Um and he goes out to the roads and he attacks people. Then he's gonna kill people. And therefore. Kill him now when he's still a, a decent child. He's not yet uh, a, a, a killer. Don't kill him. When he, wait, don't wait till he's a killer. Raman Pirsha Mishnah Shatayra he ido Himishu begil soyer Tavosan Atkinekach when a child at this age has such an unbelievable desire as described. It's not possible that at the end he's not going to end up killing people to get in order to get money because he's already this is his standards this is what he's looking for this is what he wants and he's going to kill him before he kills others yeah I mean that's basically the concept oh why are we killing him because he's going to be a murderer what is the sentence for a murderer Sayyid. It's killed by the sword. Why are we giving him skillet? <laughs> so, there are many answers. The rush 
says that since he's attacking people, he's not keeping Shabbos. Therefore, he's getting skila for the lack of keeping Shabbos. The Balitesis and Chumash, that Ene Shemei B'Kaloi B'Kalima, it says that he doesn't listen to his parents. It's as if he's cursing them, which is skila. These are all big chidushim, and I, I really don't want to get into them now because each one would require an explanation on its own. The Maharal in Gurari, Gurari, writes, <laughs> he's going to kill many people. So he deserves more than Skila. More than Saif. Saif is, is less than Skila. However, you can never ever give a person, let's say a guy's murderer of 10 people. Do we give him Skila? No, we give him Saif. Why? Because he gets killed for the first murder. But this guy never murdered anybody. It's only Hashem Saif. So we, we look at the total picture and we give him a much uh, severe penalty. <laughs> Another shot is the 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 the, the morale says he's in a rave. He's chasing after the people to kill them, so we kill them with anything we can. Therefore, we the the side on skill. There's others who say the Mario Diskin says that he's going to be over many many serum amongst them uh, skill, similar to the first answer that we got. Now Rashi and Chum is interesting. Where you talk about skila. So he says the reason that um we get we 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 in this Pasik follows the story of Messiah Meir is because this is what the Sarah Meir is gonna do. He's gonna end up doing many of he's gonna be a high miss and death. That sounds similar to a lot of what we said. Okay, that's one. Aspect that has to be answered that was answered by many different answers, and each one of them have their issue and their problem. But we're going to accept it for now. We're going to accept it because we're not getting into it. We're just going through that. Come to gain the Mepharshim and they ask another question. Says, Need not some safe. I go back. Yishmael. Parish is I think it is. And Ishmael is thirsty. And the Malachim say, God Almighty, you're going to save this kid whose children are going to kill Jews? So they just answered, I only look at people as they are now. And the Gemara in Rosh Hashanah says, As it says over there by Yishmael, so Why are we suddenly killing people for the Al Shema Osin? So there are again many answers. The Mizrahi says that Yishmael hadn't done anything yet. <laughs> we just know the future. Whereas the Messiah Mary began the process. He when I he began his career. His career has begun. That's why we kill him. The sister Chachamim answers. Bezdin Shalmaila doesn't judge on the future. Interesting. They who know the future don't judge on the future. And the reason makes sense, because they know the future of everything. <laughs> They're going to keep judging the future. There's never going to be a life. But Bezer Shamata, in a case where they know for sure this is going to happen, they judge on the future. The Masha, Nash Hashanah says, it wasn't Ishmael that was going to kill the Jews. It was his children. Okay, that's not, uh, that's not a reason. The Sassam says, another way. Now, this idea of Mutav Yom is, is a good thing. We want to help them. And therefore, it's, it's good for him. So therefore, you can't compare it to Yishmael. We don't want to, who says we want to help him? He gives other answers that, that, that perhaps he already had children, so it wasn't relevant. Well, it's hard to understand that from the Pasuk. And again, the idea of Mutav Yom Zakai is for a year, not for a guy. 
All right, well, you're all different answer. Very nice. Okay, I want to just go a summary of the problems, add some more problems, and then perhaps see how the Rambam sees this. I want to make note that in the Perik of the Rambam and Ben Sayer Mary, when he writes about it here in Hilchas Mamram, there's not a word about Nid Nosham Seifer or Yom Zaka or Yom which is a pella, because that's the whole essence of Ben Sayer Mary. And I think that's very telling of the Rambam's view of Ben Sayer Mary. So we have a question that's a Lausha Clovis. Okay, we have an answer for that. We have a question, Lausha Lazar is Misa Besme. We have answers for that too. We have a question that Al Shem Seifa is Ritzicha. So why is he getting Skila? Why are we judging Al Shem Seifa when Basak says it and doesn't have all the Al Isa Shah? And now uh, we asked another few Aris in the Ramah Masses. Why does he begin with the fact that a Messiah Mary gets Skila? Why didn't he tell us who a Messiah Mary is first? And why did he right away go into the lab? It sounds like he's going into side things when he should be first telling us who we're talking about and why we're talking about him. Yeah, why doesn't he mention, this is to me the biggest problem, why doesn't he mention this whole idea of Shem Seif didn't? Now, if you look in the Mishnah, he should have followed the pattern of the Mishnah. Sadov, telling us about him and Sarah what he is. Tell us, and then, and then tell us what he gets. And I'm going to start off in the reverse. Now, there's Malchus first, and then this. I'm going to start off right away with Skila. Why do you go through the process and tell us what happens? And then tell us Skila. And then we said that the Rambam introduces a new word, Achille Muchu Eres. Nowhere is that word found. I'm not saying there's nowhere it says the word Achille Muchu Eres, but not the Gabi Ben Sayyimer. I believe, perhaps, that the Rambam has a different opinion than all of those mentioned before. Nidin Al Shem does not mean we judge him now on what's going to be later. Nidin Al Shem means that what he does now is terrible, is disgusting. <clears throat> that a child at a certain age that eats Achil Muchu Eres, that's a Ben Sayyir Meir, I just kill him. <clears throat> that's why he begins with Ben Sayyir Meir, every time in his parasha by Skila. The biggest chiddush of a Sayyid Meir is that you make him a Sayyid Meir and he gets Skila. That chiddush is that he's a Sayyid Meir. And what it means in Lashem Seifai, that the Seifai proves that what he's doing now is disgusting. And it makes an Achil Buchu Eres and for that he has to get killed. That's why he stresses he's being killed for this. What's his being? You want to know what a Messiah is? Loi seich lachila mevil de shichazam. Don't eat something that causes death. Now, he could mean death by killing people, or he could mean death of his own. But it's not a bad part, is it's, it's the chila that's not good. And the rest is all discussion. Now, why didn't he start with Malchus? Because Malchus is not a punishment of Messiah Mary. It's part of the process of Messiah Mary. You want to create him a Messiah Mary? This is the way you create him, as he says in, in, in Allah Kazayim. So there's nothing to do with Yishmael. <laughs> Yishmael, we're talking about the future. Here we're talking about the present. Achil Muchu Eres. Now, in, in the Seva Mitzvah, he describes... That's the description. Don't be a Achil Muchu Eres person. And in the Minyan Amir Shalech of Elisha Derech Seilam, that's the Issa. That's what it's about. He should have written, according to the rules of the Ramam in general, Lodun the men in the Seyre Mary. No, it's about don't be an Achil Muchu Eres person. 
And that's why he brings the Pasuk Zel and save him in the Menina Mitzvah. So the bottom line is that I'm not talking about the future. I'm talking about the present. This type of person doesn't belong to be alive. Agavadam, I think, might be a nice approach to the Rambam. Everybody have a great day. Slacher Rambam.